Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. Blue liquor shells, dust lace, hairs, peasants, vassals. Meat sacks, pink slime. I'm a useful idiot. And today, I'm going to talk about the Utah Data Center. Um, there's a story out that suggests that the Utah Data Center is actually um, up and running and fully functioning. And uh, I see no reason not to believe this. And I'll, I'll attach my first video about the Utah Data Center when it was being built. Um, and I did that video probably over a year ago. I'll attach that below. It has some uh, significant details about the Utah Data Center. It's very, very interesting to me that uh, this data center would be up and running just as this NSA scandal uh, is broken wide open. And even though we've had all these warnings all these years, uh, including about the Utah Data Center and massive NSA spying, um, for some reason now we have a, a uh, vast amount of controversy surrounding this NSA program. So once again, here we have another uh, dramatic uh, component of this NSA story um, and this massive uh, NSA spying center coming online right in the middle of a scandal. So once again, it uh, seems to support at least the theory that I'm working on now or uh, the, what, the premise that I'm accepting right now. And that's the fact that it looks like the governments around the world want everyone to know that they're being spied on. Um, and that's my my theory right now, why this is all coming out now and why it's getting uh, the kind of coverage it's getting. And um, now this uh, is just another uh, piece of that puzzle, the fact that this massive NSA data center is coming online now. So uh, let's go into some of the, uh, the gruesome details that I like to say. Uh, the NSA Utah data center is designed for communication storage and processing and is now already up and running ahead of schedule. It was supposed to open in September 2013, so it's only a few months off anyway. And uh, the NSA has numerous other data centers, but this will be the central repository. And uh, not just all metadata, but um, all cross-referenced against all other data sources as well. So besides the fact that it will collect, collect metadata, it will cross-reference cross it against all other data sources and as Russell Tice pointed out, uh, one of the early NSA whistleblowers, quote, the full contents of digital communications, unquote, will be uh, scooped up. And uh, so we have a real-life colossus, the Forbin Project, a computer that's going to take over the world. It is here, the uh, Utah Data Center. And it's in uh, Bluffdale, Utah, 25 miles south of Salt Lake City. It costs $2 billion to build. And it covers 1 million square feet. And 100,000 square feet of that is just computer servers and storage hardware. Um, hard to imagine. So this is the new global information grid. And uh, it handles the uh, a term Yoda bytes. Handles Yoda bytes of information. And uh, let's just say that's a hell of a lot. And uh, the electricity demand alone is so enormous that the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers built a system delivery that uh, creates 65 megawatts of elect electricity a day has its own electrical substation and, um, and the whole facility itself is on an Army National Guard base so that's pretty convenient as well we have uh, this amazing uh, data collection spy center uh, surrounded by uh, military and, uh, so this is a uh, this is very uh, symbolic a very uh, symbolic point that we've come that this uh, na uh, uh, NSA data center is opening and um, it has its own water treatment facilities, it has its own vehicle inspection facility, it has its visitor control center, it has backup generators, it has a chiller plant for cooling, it has its very own police force and its own parameter uh, defense forces as well so this is kind of a as James Bond as we get in the 21st century version of the spy intelligence surveillance police state community. And uh, this uh, NSA Utah Data Center, as we already know from everything else that's coming out, will be collecting the contents of emails, the contents of text messages, the contents of Skype conversations, phone calls, financial records, health records, legal documents, travel documents, they will know everything about you and um, as one observer said quote collect it all tag it store it 
and whatever it is you want, you go searching for it, unquote. So that is how this uh, new data center will work. They will collect all the information there is out there, and uh, then they will have the software, which uh, I'll attach another video about software that DARPA developed that is able to sift through this metadata, and uh, you can put a search through and connect, as I pointed out, all those different forms of communications and all those kind of records um, at will, uh, as, as needed, for any particular target. And a good example of uh, how this surveillance uh, system works worldwide, there's a real interesting little story that came out recently about uh, a German man, and he played a joke on the NSA. As a joke, a German man recently invited some friends for a walk around a top secret NSA facility, and he posted this on his face page, obviously a joke. Four days after he posted, federal German police called at 7.17 a.m. on his cell phone, while simultaneously other police knocked at his door. Uh, the police had been alerted by American authorities, and the police on the phone told him to go talk to the police at the door. So that's a frightening picture of how fast, how efficient, and how uh, innocuous the communication that was targeted, and how this new system worked at its very worst. So uh, if this is true, if the NSA Utah data center is up and running, uh, we have entered the 21st century of spy culture. I'm useful idiot. Don't you be one too. And remember, you're never too old to learn something new that's stupid.